Our universe is constantly expanding, making it difficult to establish its limits and measure its size. However, thanks to the James Webb Telescope, we can now glimpse into the farthest corners of the universe. Numerous scientists, including Brian Cox, have made announcements since the James Webb Telescope began its exploration, revealing the unimaginable true size and scope of the universe. Within the fragment of the universe that we can observe, there are approximately two trillion galaxies. This estimate is based on studies of the local universe. We are quite sure that this portion we can see is only a small part of what could be an infinite universe that we do not yet know. We are an essential component of the universe, not something distinct from it. We are, in a way, the means through which the universe knows itself. With the help of the James Webb Telescope, we embark on a vast exploration to discover the true size of our universe. If you're interested in keeping up to date with news about the universe and its surroundings, subscribe to our channel. Turn on the notification bell and make sure to like this video. If we were traveling at a speed of 70 miles per hour, it would take us about 15 days to complete one lap around Earth's equator. It would take about 5 months to get to the moon, 63 years to get to Mars at its closest point, and 4,400 years to get to Neptune. These figures alone demonstrate the immense scale of our solar system. To put this in context, consider the Voyager 1 probe, launched in 1977 at a speed of 38,000 miles per hour. It did not leave the solar system until 2012. This means it spent 35 years just to get out of our solar system. Even light, which can circle Earth seven times in a single second, seems relatively slow compared to the vastness of our solar system. And although our solar system is vast, it is dwarfed by the enormity of the Milky Way galaxy. This galaxy contains approximately 300 billion stars, each of which probably has its own planetary systems. Our nearest neighboring star, Alpha Centauri, is 4.3 light years away, which means that if we were to travel at the speed of light, it would take us 4.3 years to get there. Now imagine the time it would take to travel to Alpha Centauri at the speed of Voyager, 38,000 miles per hour. It would take a staggering 70,000 years. This shows us the immensity of the distances involved in exploring the cosmos. Let us now focus on Velta Rouge, a star located 6,140 light years away. If we consider what we call the radio sphere, this represents the distance our radio transmissions have covered in the last century. Although the signals have degraded significantly, they have so far reached about 15,000 star systems. However, this figure is only a fraction compared to the number of stars in the Milky Way. If you look at Rouge in the night sky tonight, you're actually seeing the light that left its surface 640 years ago, about 100 years before Columbus set sail for the New World. This light has traveled all that time and is just now reaching our planet. It is truly amazing to realize that Velter, on a universal scale, is relatively close. To amaze you even more, Consider that our radio sphere, which encompasses all human radio transmissions, is only a small dot within the immense expanse of the Milky Way. If we were to reduce our solar system to the size of a quarter of the United States, the entire Milky Way would be as vast as our planet. In this immense region, there would be about 300 billion star systems and their planets. We're just one of those 300 billion star systems floating in the midst of an unimaginably large number of stars and planets. Beyond our galaxy, there are at least a trillion more galaxies. Yes, a trillion. A trillion is an incredibly large number. To understand its magnitude, imagine a collection of 1,000 cats. Now, suppose there are a thousand groups of cats, each consisting of a thousand cats. That gives us a total of one million cats. But a trillion is a million times a million. A staggering number of cat encounters. Our nearest neighboring galaxy is the Andromeda Galaxy, located 2.5 million light-years away. Andromeda is rapidly approaching us at a tremendous speed. As this galaxy approaches, our night sky will undergo significant changes. There are roughly one trillion stars in this galaxy. When it eventually collides with our own galaxy, the Milky Way, which has 300 billion stars, the chances of individual stars colliding are quite slim. This illustrates the vastness of space and the low probability of direct interactions between stars. Galactic collisions, although rare at the level of individual stars, may even facilitate the transfer of materials and conditions necessary for new star systems to form. 
favorable for life. Galaxies are not static systems. They are dynamic and constantly evolving. As we move beyond our galaxy, we encounter our local group of galaxies, followed by the Virgo cluster, which contains more than 1,500 galaxies. Virgo, in turn, is part of a larger supercluster known as Laniakea, which contains approximately 100,000 galaxies. Each of these 100,000 galaxies has hundreds of billions of stars and planets of its own. And this is only a small part of the big picture. There are an additional 10 million such superclusters in the universe that can be observed. As we zoom out we discover more mapped galaxies, but even these represent only a small fraction of what's out there. Hundreds of billions of galaxies have not yet been fully mapped. The oldest light that can be detected, and the heat left over from the Big Bang, must also be taken into account. This radiation is a remnant of the early stages of the universe. The scale of the universe becomes even more staggering when we look beyond galaxies. There are cosmic voids, regions where matter is scarce. These immense expanses can span hundreds of millions of light years in diameter. Yet, these voids might give rise to future galaxies. As we move deeper into the cosmos, we encounter cosmic filaments, colossal threads of dust, gas, and dark matter that stretch across billions of light years, connecting galaxies and clusters. These filaments form a cosmic web that binds the universe together through gravity. The distribution of matter in the universe is not uniform but patterned like a web, with galaxies congregating at nodes and interacting through gravity. This intricate tapestry spans unimaginable distances. Within this vastness, countless celestial objects and phenomena exist. Supernovae, the explosive deaths of massive stars, disperse heavy elements that enrich planetary systems. Black holes with immense gravity shape galaxy evolution and emit energy jets that extend great distances. Exotic phenomena like quasars, supermassive black holes feeding on matter, emit colossal energy and allow us to glimpse the early universe. But what lies beyond the observable universe? Many galaxies remain beyond our visual reach, their light not yet reaching Earth. Because the universe is expanding, most of this light will never reach us, making these regions potentially inaccessible forever. Still, based on physics, we infer that the entire universe is at least 250 times larger than the observable universe, possibly infinite. This broader view leads us to reflect on our place in the cosmos. We, as human beings, live on a small planet in an unremarkable part of a galaxy among trillions. Contemplating these possibilities invites reflection on our existence and roles within the grand universe. So, have you ever wondered how vast our universe is? If so, I hope this video has helped you understand even a little more about the immensity of the cosmos. Use the comment box to ask any questions. If you enjoyed the video like it, share it and subscribe for more. As we continue our journey through the cosmos, it's important to realize that our understanding of the universe is constantly evolving. New instruments such as the James Webb Space Telescope have opened possibilities that once belonged only to science fiction. These tools not only let us peer into the early universe but also analyze exoplanet atmospheres, bringing us closer to answering one of the biggest questions. Are we alone in the universe? In recent years, astronomers have identified thousands of exoplanets orbiting distant stars. Many are in the habitable zone, where conditions could allow liquid water and possibly life. Some are gas giants or icy worlds with subsurface oceans, while others are Earth-like in size and composition. The sheer number, estimated in the billions within our galaxy, suggests that life might not be as rare as once thought. But even beyond the search for life, the universe holds countless mysteries. Take, for instance, dark energy and dark matter, which together account for approximately 95% of the mass energy content of the universe. Dark matter explains the movement of galaxies, while dark energy is thought to drive the universe's accelerating expansion, yet both remain largely theoretical and undetected directly. There's also the multiverse theory suggesting our universe might be one among infinite others, each with its own physical laws and conditions. Though speculative, this concept expands our understanding of what might lie beyond our universe. Time too is relative. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, time slows down near massive objects, 
a phenomenon called gravitational time dilation. Time would pass more slowly near a black hole than on Earth. This mind-bending reality has been confirmed and has implications for space travel and the structure of space-time. Black holes themselves aren't just cosmic vacuum cleaners. They're engines of extreme physics. At the center of most large galaxies lies a supermassive black hole that can shape galaxy evolution and launch jets of energy. Even more exotic are wormholes, hypothetical tunnels through space-time that could connect distant parts of the universe or different universes entirely. Though still theoretical, wormholes are the focus of scientific and imaginative exploration. And yet, in the midst of all this vastness and complexity, we are here, a species on a rocky planet orbiting an ordinary star in one of trillions of galaxies. We build tools to explore the cosmos, ask big questions despite our small size, and imagine possibilities that are far beyond our current capabilities. Every space telescope image, every radio wave, Every particle detected is a small step toward illuminating the unknown. As we look up at the night sky, we're not just seeing stars. We're looking into the past, into the structure of space-time, and into mysteries yet unsolved. The universe is not just vast. It is a reflection of our curiosity and our unyielding desire to understand.